Okay, so we're going to look at um, how to embed video into PowerPoint. Um, first thing we've got to do is find out what video we want to do. So I'm going to take something from YouTube. Um, I know previously we've done stuff with uh, some music videos. So we've got a music video here and what we need to do is get the URL. And the URL is looked either here you can get it. It's the HTTP www part or you can get it from the toolbar at the top here. But we'll go from down here. So when we left click into here, it all turns blue. And then when we move our arrow over the top, we can right click onto that and click copy. You've got to right click with your arrow over the blue part though. What we now need to do is go to a thing called Notepad. You can use Word or WordPad for this, but I tend to use Notepad. It's just simple and straightforward. To get Notepad up, you go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, and then Notepad should be there. And so what we do now is we paste that URL into Notepad. We then find the part that says Watch and a question mark. You see I've highlighted it there. And we can delete that. And then after the V there'll be an equal sign. We change the equal sign to a slash. And so that is our new URL that we use to embed into PowerPoint. What we need to do though, we need to select all of it and we need to copy this to the clipboard. So over the top of the blue, we right click on the top of that and go to copy. Um, now what we'll do is we'll go into PowerPoint and the first thing we do is open up the control toolbox. Now if you're embedding a few different videos, you'll only need to open this toolbox once and just leave it open. Um, so if you go to view and then toolbars and then control box that'll bring the box up here what we now do is select the hammer and the spanner there and when we hover over it you see it says more controls we click on that and it's in alphabetical order and we need to find the shockwave flash player or sorry shockwave flash object so we, there it is there, the shockwave flash object. We select that. And you'll notice the cursor has now changed to a cross. What we can do with this cross is draw onto our PowerPoint slide the size of the square that we want the YouTube video to be. So using the left mouse button, hold down the button and then drag across the screen like this until you get the size of video you want. So I'll say we'll have it that size. And now we left click. Uh, sorry, we let go of the left click. Um, so this is the shockwave flash object that we've put in here. We now need to change the properties of that so it references the YouTube video. So you right click over the top of it and go to properties. There's a couple of things to look at in this properties box that's opened here. Check that embed movie equals false and then where it says movie further down we need to paste in the URL that we've changed. You can either do use control in V or you can right click and choose paste. You can check the URL while we're in here if you move if you use the right arrow the left arrow and you can just check that there's no watch question mark and the V here is a just after the V is a slash and not an equal sign. And now that's us done. We can close down the properties box. And now when we run the slideshow, we can see the video is here. And if we press play, it should play inside the PowerPoint instead of taking us out to a different website. One thing to be careful of is if you're using videos from YouTube, is for example this one's by a band called My Bloody Valentine. If the record company puts a copyright request in against this, uh, it'll it'll get stopped, and then my PowerPoint slide will stop working. You will get something coming up saying, you know, maybe embedded, disabled by request, or it's been removed due to a copyright claim, because you're not actually putting the whole video into here. You're putting a reference to the video that's on the on the internet. So also, if you're running this slideshow and there's no internet connection on your computer 
it, the video won't work. Okay, so be aware of that and be careful for that.